Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Godiva. Yes, and I'm a counsellor. So today, just as we have been talking, we've been discussing on faith, relationship and mental well-being, if you've been following me all this well. So um, this is the number four, number four of the faith, relationship and mental well-being series. So, you know, sometimes and today particularly what I've been focusing on is achieving balance, achieving balance and specifically um, working mindfully that is work, your day to day life, your profession, your career, whatever you do, that whatever drives you, wakes you up in the morning, gets you going, that's the work. Achieving a work balance in a way that promotes your faith, your relationship and of course your mental well-being we know it can all get busy for every one of us we can we are all caught <laughs> yes you're all caught in this track race you have to you have to go to school you have to work you have to keep up with family you have to just a lot i don't know what it is in your own um schedule but you know it can really really get busy for every one of us and it's very important for us to be careful to make sure we are also you know taking care of our mental well-being is very important because sometimes we can get so carried away with paying bills with um you know um getting some uh, getting savings which this these are all great however at the expense of our mental well-being let me say for example someone who works um during the day let me say six to five you know works this this is a normal uh, routine work routine works six to five tuesday works six to five and doesn't just work the six to five and comes back to have a rest at night, comes back maybe going for another shift, uh, going for another work. Let me say, comes back to eat uh, and to shower or something and rest for about two, three minutes or has another shift by 11 or 12 or whatever it is, whatever the schedule is, or even uh, comes back and has another shift by nine. This person came back by, si um, by six five to six you understand so you know because let me say the person of course i understand that there, there can be pressing needs that can you know that can drive us sometimes to um to push ourselves in an unhealthy way and um, that can impact our health generally you know you work 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 because of course you know you have to do this thing and maybe you have to save up for something which is very understandable it, it's also um understandable if you if you're doing this for a particular maybe particular short time it's not like something you continue for months and there but maybe you want to do this for a few days or you want to do this for maybe a week just to or just for a few a short period of time to get back to resting and balancing doing a work that is much more um that is better that will help your health that's what i mean that you also got to get some time to rest so but when you have you when you're going into this kind of job that you have to keep working keep working keep working it's just a normal lifestyle it is very unhealthy it is very unhealthy let me just share this story ahead of a real life story a real life story of someone who um you know the person wasn't a boss the person wasn't a boss and the boss was you know, you know, as people come into the boss and the boss picks the, picks the different people at different points, the boss man kept running round and round, round and round. And this man, this is a real life story, okay? The young man was just there and um, was not moving, you know, just as if you're resting and something like that. The young man wasn't um, dropping, you know, you know, sometimes we sleep or sometimes we sleep, have a little a quick snap. Um, or, um, um, quick nap on the 
while traveling. It, it does happen to every one of us. So, but after continuous driving, continuous driving, this young man is now coming down. People are coming down, climbing, coming down, climbing, and you know, he's still there. So the driver had to come to tap him. Where is he going? Just to see that his past, he's, he's gone. He's, he's, pa he's, he's passed on. He's dead. He's dead. And you know, this person, you know, this kind of, probably, you know, he might have been coming back from a workplace. You know, this continuous work. We might not know the pet peculiar um, condition that might be the, his own peculiar, um, peculiar condition. But you can really tie it from the way I had the information. It's, you know, constant work, 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 you know, this busy, so busy. That's how detrimental this can be, not just for your mental health, but for life. It can be life-threatening. So this is why we're discussing this today. And why is one of my feet like this? I think right now, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to get so clear. Yeah, just to, you know, it helps. So um, preventing burnout is one of the reasons why it's very important to maintain um, a balanced work life to prevent burnout. Burnout is very, very important that we avoid burnout. And the next one is, you know, it's, you know, when you take break and you're able to set, you know, a work effectively, it reduces exhaustion. It reduces emotional instability. You know, sometimes when you get stressed, you might see some persons tend to feel very irritable, very irritable, you know. Some persons feel, um, it can be for different people, different, re it comes in a different way. Of course, you don't feel, you don't feel your best self. That's a general term for everyone, every one of us, no one excluded. If you don't have enough rest, you are stressed, you keep, you won't be your best self. You won't be your best self. So, you know, setting boundaries, and taking breaks, it helps us to manage our work effectively and it helps us prevent burnout. So why I'm sharing this with you, I want you to reflect in what way, in what way are you maintaining work-life balance? Even while you're pursuing the dream, even while you're pursuing whatever it is, is it, I understand it can get really, life can get very demanding, life can get very, uh, um, stressful but even in the midst of it i want you to have the time to reflect to yourself how are you making time how are you taking breaks for yourself how are you setting boundaries to make out that time that time for you to have rest for you to have a bit of rest that is healthy for you so so you see this helps to promote your emotional stability and all of that and it also prov uh, promotes you know clarity when you're you're well rested you know you have that sense of clarity to even keep going i don't know if this has happened to you sometimes if assuming if i should um um study for val uh, for a very long time if I, if I keep working on that stuff, keep working on maybe it can be assignment, can be whatever it is, I keep working on that stuff. There, there's a point I get to, I don't even understand what I'm doing again. You know, I get totally lost. I get totally confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. I become stressed. So it looks difficult. It looks like I can work on this thing again. It feels like I can even understand it. It looks much more complex than it actually is. But I've noticed something that whenever I dropped that work at that point, whenever I feel this way and I drop that work to go have some rest, just forget about it. Maybe go have some sleep, take a walk, just rewind. I come back to that same work. It's kind of, this wasn't really difficult. This is something I really understand. How was it this, um, uh, why did it look so complex then? So you could clearly say this was because it, I was stressed, I was tired and all of that. So whenever we are able to have rest, maybe it could be the same with you, whatever you're working. I don't know, we, we are all different as well, but we can all have some sim similarities or some aspects, you know? So, but whatever it is, in whichever way it goes for you or it works for you, it's very important that, you know, having time for yourself to rest helps clarity. You, this this 
this dimension, all this I mentioned is helping you, your mental well-being, okay? When we're talking about relationships now, you know that, of course, when you have time for yourself, when you're able to have some time to, to rewind, you're able to interact more in a better way. You're able to be more patient, you understand, not easily angered, not easily... Imp not impatient, you're more patient, you're in the present, you understand. But whenever you are so much stressed, you might not give your best to your relationships, to your friends, to your colleagues, um, to whoever, to maybe your own, your home, your kids, your whoever it is, your husband, your wherever it is that's connected to you, that's your relationship, you see that you won't be able to give your best. You won't be able to relate with these people uh, or with this significance or those or other in your life in a way that is really, really good, okay? And it also helps you avoid exhaustion. Of course, just like I mentioned, because you're rested, you're not frustrated and you don't pass that out. Because when you feel frustrated, when you feel exhausted, it has a way to show off from what you say. It has a way to show off from your mood. It has a way to show off if you're tired, exhausted, frustrated, and all of that. You can give your best self. It's just not possible. You can give your best self. So it's very important that in your relationship, you make out time to rest. Okay? All right. Also, when it comes to your faith, when it comes to your Christian life faith, assuming you're someone who is just like I gave the example I gave from the start, you keep working from morning to nine to five, whichever way it is, and you go at night, that's you're going for another shift. You work through all the night to the next day, coming to just sleep to go for the next shift. You won't have this time to to really reflect on your spiritual life. You won't have time to, you know, have some rest. Even God teaches us Sabbath in the scriptures where he tells us about the time to rest. Sabbath doesn't have to do with a particular day. I'm not here to tell you or to um, teach you, okay, it has to be a particular day. No, it can be any day. It can even be just as it is in the evening. Maybe you go to work, you come back, you have rest. That's what Sabbath is about. That's what God taught us, the time to rest. It's important to rest. You understand? So you find a way to, to balance this. You find a way to, to make this work, all right? For your mental health, for your mental health. And another one, and for your spiritual life as well, mental health and spiritual life. Another one is it helps you to, you know, when you're rested, it gives you time as well to pray. It gives you time to read your Bible because this is how we grow as Christians. If we don't pray, if we don't have time to read the Bible, if we don't have time to maybe go to church or to listen to uh, a, a, a teaching, a, a, a scriptural teaching from any good um minister, minister of God who teaches real biblical scriptures. If we don't have time to listen to these ministers, whether man or woman or whoever, or have time for our own reading to read the Bible or to even pray, you'll see a connection with God will gradually, it will start splitting, it will start becoming distant because we are not having time for rest. We're not having time to even reconnect with God, build our spiritual life. So it is not going to be helpful. So having time, finding time for rest helps build your spiritual life as well. Okay. And it also helps you to, you know, grow in faith alongside your professional life, alongside your work life, alongside your professional life. You grow in faith as well. Just as if you're a Christian, you know that everything we do in this life is built somewhere. It's not just a living. You, you're not just you're not just a doctor for being a doctor. You're not just an engineer for being an engineer. Your whatever career you're called into, whether be law, be it whatever, God is expecting you to to build in faith, to represent Christ, and not just to work for working's sake. Let your work has weight in the spiritual. Uh, let your work have a sense of um. Build strength spiritually. 
Let it be your strength so that you, when you're working, in your work you're serving God, in your work you're serving humanity, in a way that promotes God, in a way that projects God, promotes Christ. So you see, if you're stressed, you won't, you won't be able to do these things. You won't be able to work in a way that helps you um, grow your faith, promote God, build your spirituality alongside. It will all just be for the bills, for the money, frustrated, pain, and everything. And this is no good for you, for your mental well-being, for your relationship, and for your spiritual life, okay? I know someone might be in a very tough situation. What you might be wondering, how do I balance this thing? Because I need the money for this, I need the money for this, I need the money for this. I only want to challenge you. I also want to encourage you to ask God for guidance, right? Ask God for guidance. He knows your particular situation. He knows how to help you in that situation. Ask God for um, guidance to help you balance this out. Find time suitable to make out time for yourself, to get yourself, to make sure your mental well-being, your spiritual life and every aspect, even as much as you're carrying along your professional life, your work life, whatever it is, no one is suffering. And you're also in a good state to serve God and to serve humanity. Okay, I hope you are able to get a ton of value from this video today. And remember, I'm Godiva, I'm a counselor. Assuming you, in, for in case you need some counseling support, you know, and you may be struggling some sport, then you feel you might need to have that space to talk about stuff or talk about things, or even to have that space to build your spiritual life. You know, some of the clients I have, the reason they come is not even particularly because of eh, maybe they are depressed. They are not depressed. It's not even because maybe they are having anxiety. They are not having anxiety. The reason they come is just to build, to have that space where they talk through things, what's going on with them, and also to look at things from the scripture, to have that space to talk about scriptures, to build their faith. Especially when you know, maybe if you feel judged, if you feel judged in a church or you feel somehow like talking about this day, you know, you'll be looked at somehow. That's why some of my clients come to just have that space to build their spirituality and not feel judged while growing their faith and also ensuring that they maintain their mental well-being. So you could be in that particular um, category, you could be in that particular space at the moment where it's not as if you have a particular challenge. Don't feel, do I need counseling? Yes, you can always sign up for it. It can be to help you walk through challenges or it can also help to maintain, help you maintain that mental well-being you're on and to have that space that's not judgmental, you understand, and that is spiritually and built on Christian values and faith. So if you need such kind of support, don't fail to reach out to me and uh, my the, the way you, the contact information website and all that is on the website okay is on the description below wherever you're going to be watching from tiktok youtube wherever it is all right so it's my pleasure to always come here and and i really hope you're able to get a ton of value like i said if you like this video give it a like if you're watching from wherever you can follow the page um, follow my page or subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. This is so that you get notified whenever I make videos. I don't have specific days or time I come to make videos. And if you have questions or any concern that you just want, yeah, general questions or whatever, if you want to drop, you can drop them. I'll try to address them. Or you can send me a DM if that's more comfortable for you. And I'll try as much as possible to get back in touch. Okay. So that's all for me, from me for now. Remain safe, remain um, having enough rest, and I will see you some other time. Sometime this week or sometime next week. Bye-bye for now. Bye.